Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back to the channel. Hey guys, what's up? How's your week treating you? Thought I'd go live for a little bit. Uh, Creative Multiverse is coming up here in just about 45 minutes or so. So I thought I would get a head start on my art today. Hey Molly, how are you? Yay, it's Luke! Hooray! Hooray, hooray! They're all here! All the important people on the internet are where they're supposed to be. What's up, guys? Alright, so I didn't do any art yesterday. I was busy momming. So uh, I've got two pieces of art to do today. Fire and Ancient are the prompt words of the day on Sci-Fi Timber. Let's turn the music down just a little bit. Let's bring that list up. Hey, what's up, Charles? So I'm going to start off with day 25, fire, for yesterday's word. Move right into 26 for ancient. And if I have time, maybe plan it before I go to bed, but we're not guaranteeing anything on that front. Um, I'm going to be on live here for a little bit, and then we're going to shift everybody over to Joseph Burke's channel. He's going to be doing the multiverse at the top of the hour. Lots of days this month. It, it's funny, you know, some days have more day some months have more days than others, but they're pretty, they average out to be about the same. Things and stuffs, how are you? Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Um, so I've got a lot of things on my list to do, so I'm going to jump into it. Let's transition over here. I'm actually using an old cell phone as my camera now, so it should be a little clearer and lit a little better, hopefully, than what I was using previously. We'll see. You blame Caesar? All right, that sounds fair enough. He's not here to defend himself, so let's do it. All right. Let's get all the important tools. All right, so a nubbin's an update. I literally cannot sharpen it anymore. It will not sharpen anymore. That is, this is the last you will see of baby nubbin's, the famous sci-fi timber pencil. I use a former cell phone or pocket computer to broadcast a lot of my streams. Very good. I'm definitely lit. Thank you. So that's been kind of like our uh, mascot of the month, per se. Baby Nubbins. I could turn Nubbins into a character. You know what, Charles? I will, uh, I'll let you have, run with that, dude. I will let you, uh, <laughs> let him live on in the, in the legends of baby nubbin that's awesome run with that i love that so we're gonna switch over to the uh, good old mechanical pencil instead he had a good run everyone you have so many hey jeeves welcome we were just talking about how we've officially retired baby nubbins um, he can no longer be sharpened, so he he's had a good life, but I guess he'll just be our little mascot of Sci-Fi Timber. You could draw, draw nubbins so he lasts forever. <laughs> maybe, maybe. But for right now, I need to focus on the task at hand, and that's getting started on my drawing for fire. So for sci-fi timber, for fire, keep him going. Yes, we'll find some way to have him. He'll hang out and be like my little desk companion for a while. I won't throw him away or anything. All right, so for fire, I thought a perfect fit for sci-fi timber would be, of course, Mr. Schwarzenegger himself. The Terminator, as he's dipping himself down into 
the molten lava pit to be melted and destroyed forever. For the good of humanity, he sacrificed himself for the good of mankind. How's it going in the nut house? <laughs> Hashtag nut house app. It's going, dude. It's always it's always crazy. Would it be a nut house if it wasn't going crazy? That judgment day, that's right. Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Dude, I need to watch this movie because I haven't seen it in so long. And then one of his fellow versions killed John a week later. Right? Yeah, I know. Is the end coming again? I think I think for sci-fi franchises, you can't really say it's the end. Unless you just want to stop getting paid, right? So you will make up alternate storylines, sequels, prequels, multiverses. <laughs> you just keep twisting that plot line. If it sells, you milk that baby for as much as you can. The end is near. That's right. I actually didn't watch the, the newest ones. I didn't watch. Um, really, honestly, the second one is the best one. <laughs> yep, yeah, Matrix is back. Exactly. A lot of the same characters are coming back to be a part of it, though, so that'll be kind of fun. So you guys help me keep an eye on the times. I know we'll be notified when Joe goes live, but um, I told him I'd come hang out with him whenever he goes live. And I just wanted to kill some time. Just like how they milk the last Fast and the Furious. That's right. It's all about family, Jesus. God. You know, if I would have planned this out better, I would get his whole body in here, but we're just going to work with what we got because... Just Neo and Trinity. Yeah, I knew it wasn't going to be all the cast. Man, he's got some wrinkly ass pants. Dang. What do you think this is? An action movie? Wrinkling up his clothes? Dang. All tattered and beat up. Yeah, I know. Was, have you guys? Did you guys see the to them? Um, I assume it's pronounced to them. The T U D U M live event um, Netflix put on yesterday announced a lot of really cool stuff coming up. Dropped some trailers and some teasers from some of the most popular series, including my favorite, Stranger Things, um, The Witcher, Ozark. Bridgerton um, and there was a bunch of just like it was like a two hour live event of just hey look what we can do <laughs> and in most of it's all getting released next year so I'm really excited I'm really excited to be a Netflix fan lots of good things but that Stranger Things teaser holy moly what kind of adventure are we in in for oh my gosh it's gonna be so good you know it's gonna be so good creepy af oh wait this doesn't go up here damn it Undo. Hit the undo button. Shoot. What are you thinking, Lindsay? Ah. 
that's not how this works. That's what I get for talking and not paying attention to what I'm doing. This line goes this way. Duh. This thing goes that way. Happy little chains. Just put those chains wherever you feel it's good in your your world that you're creating right now. Happy little chains of doom. Dipping your android into the lava. <laughs> Thanks for the appreciate award. Welcome. Shout out to my lurkers and multi-stream viewers. We're going out to all the places and all the things. Say hello if you'd like. We can see you if you comment. Thanks, Steve. Thanks for the high award. You guys are awesome. Ba -dum -ba -ba -dum -ba. That's my living letter who donated the award. What's a living letter? I don't know what a living letter is. Tau Curie is your living letter? I don't know what a living letter is. Does anybody know what that is? Oh, so it's like your, your pen name. I see. Well, that's sweet. It's a thing you made up. Okay, I'm I'm on I'm following you now. And I made these chains look like I'm gonna have to go back and fine tune those because they ain't looking so hot. Shout out to White Bat Radio for this badass playlist of uh, copyright free songs. No, imagine him as an actual letter inspired by the Greek alphabet. Ah, fair enough. Very clever. Some good thought put into that. Well done. but I can draw letters people don't keep people not so much no so you you are your strong points more lettering than figures I understand that dude lettering is hard to get it like consistent and correct like people I feel like it's like the unsung hero of the art world that people discount My strong point is weird. Well, sweet. I'm going to throw this cap away because it's horrible. Your strong point is weird. Weird's good. Everybody needs a little weird in their life. And no, not lettering, which is a skill. Yeah. That's why I admire um, SJ so much because he has such a calm patience when it comes to lettering it's so amazing what's up jessica thank you for the sub how's your night going hope it's good I wish SJ would keep his uh, replays up longer. Uh, 
because a lot of people miss him live and he deletes his replays. I don't understand that. But he's really super talented. So keep up all your streams. That's good. It helps you get discovered. Um, a lot of times, especially Europeans, like this time of the night, they're sleeping. Um, and I miss a lot of their good content um, when they're up and about too, because I'm, you know, functioning, doing daytime stuff. So a lot of the times, I don't get to catch a lot of their streams. Just for that very reason, I'm just busy doing life, but I do enjoy watching the replays quite a bit. Um, there's this girl, Sky, that's a musician that just started streaming here not long ago. And she is fantastic. She has a little bit of a, like, a Billie Eilish tone with, like, a little bit of Dido mixed in. It's so nice to hear. <sighs> well, I was on with Takara on her Uno night last last and gained hundreds of views. Last yes! <laughs> See? You guys need, if you guys don't already practice collaborating or camming up on other people's streams, being guests, I highly recommend it. If that's something that you're wanting to do is to get more attention on your own channel, People discover you <laughs> when you visit other channels. They don't always see your lives. Serena is beautiful, too. Yes, I love Serena. She's super talented. I haven't seen her in a while. She's been, I guess, busy doing her own thing. Which is good, because she needs to be, because she's freaking amazing. I don't think we're going to finish, finish Terminator on my channel tonight. We may have to take him as homework. Or I suggest draw along with you one night. Absolutely. Um, you're welcome to join e either mine or Joe's, usually. Uh, we always have community draws. Right now, I'm just trying to get just stuff done. Lisa's great. She's a fun girl to hang out with. She's a lot of fun. Indeed. I haven't seen her in a while either. She must be busy off doing all the things talented people do. Thanks! Shama? Is that right? Is it Shama or Shama? Thanks for the sub. And her bare lotus? What? Oh, yeah. Saw her streaming. Yeah, I know she does check-ins every once in a while. That's good. Oh, it's the stuffed bear. Okay. I see. That makes sense. Now. Oh my gosh, it's Michelle Alexander, active sponsor. What is up, Michelle? It's good to see you. I miss your face. <laughs> I miss my face too. <laughs> Aim better, that's funny. Charles has got jokes, you guys. So yeah, Michelle, um, we're just hanging out here until Joe fires up his, because it's it's multiverse night. So this is like the pregame. Pregame for multiverse night. Whoop, whoop. 
I'm not just weird, I'm funny too! Look at you! I've branded my broadcast Peachy to Peach is an easy reach. Isn't um Peach like your main character of like your comic book style art? Am I correct in remembering that? I could be totally wrong. Peach is the title that covers what I'm doing on Instagram, so yes, okay. See, I knew I wasn't too far off on figuring out what that was about. It was all a boot. And this is the time of day where Lindsay redraws a nose 500 times to get it at least vaguely the correct shape. Because, you know, the nose is the personality of the face, with the exception of the eyes. times nose jobs are big in hollywood yes what is up captain rehab how are you tonight they're all the rage i'm sure even uh mr schwarzenegger has probably had a little touch up here or there amongst the years i have no doubt you like this music I can send you the playlist, Michelle. It's like three hours long. You are listening to White Bat Audio. I think that's what this is. Yep. White Bat Audio. The two-hour synthwave mix. Whoop, whoop. Play it if you're taking your boat out, though. Why? Because of the waves? Of synth? I don't understand what that means. You'll end up stranded with an idiot? What? What is happening? I don't understand that joke. I don't understand what's happening right now. Three hours of music? Yes. That is correct. Three hours of music. It says two hours, technically, because, you know, mathing. Oh, the three hour tour. Okay. Woo. That was a reacher. But I'm there with you. Got it. The three hour tour. Asian mommies are not all tiger moms. Wait, what? Okay, Michelle, did that help? Because uh, it it took me a moment, but I think we all got there together. I hope we all got there together. Somewhere, we got somewhere. If somebody fell overboard, please let me know. We need to reel you back in. And I don't know what the cat talk is all about. Speaking of animals, um... Did anybody see and or hear about the lovely Discovery Channel style video that's going viral right now about the monkeys in a zoo going downtown on one another in front of children and families? 
that was an experience. Yeah, that was fun. Um, <laughs> I um, was like, well, that just happened. Yeah, there was a whole lot of um, carpet munching goodness for all the children to see. Oh, it was, there was no flinging. There was no, like, procreation. It was uh, some serious foreplay action happening. Right in front of the gigantic observation window. No Fs were given. Oh, yeah. All the carpet was munched. All the carpet was munched. Yeah, the video starts off all perfect and innocent. You know, just some monkeys chilling in, in, in their habitat. Then all of a sudden, this male comes around and the female just lays, lays on her back and like assumes the position and they just start at it. And I was like, wow. Wow. <laughs> and you could see like all the moms and dads are like grabbing their children and like running as quickly as possible, like, covering their eyes and shielding their innocence. Like, oh my dear God. Did the carpet. Um, I'm not sure. And the video wasn't that long. It's actually on TMZ. If you guys go to TMZ.com, it's probably trending on their website. If anyone cares to relive that moment with them. I think once was enough for me viewing once <laughs> that I didn't need to see it multiple times. What do I look up? Um, I would just zoo monkeys it happened in like the last 24 hours or so so uh it's pretty new i respect their privacy hmm fair enough luke fair enough see we have the nice canadians in here being like you know we really should just uh let them do their thing in private and let them be <laughs> Maybe they're trying to help the zoo with publicity. It's possible, but I mean, when your parents take you to a, a monkey exhibit and the animals are actually out and active, I'm sure there's already a lot of cameras and videos pointing at said exhibits. <laughs> it's like, oh, let's go look at what the monkeys are doing today. They're doing each other. Oh, look, children, a puppy. Things were already gotten. Yeah. <laughs> well, it is what it is. It's good times. <laughs> Captain Re, I've just looked it up, you guys. That is a a first watch reaction right there. You know it's good if Captain Rehab saying OMG. Sarita, I hope you're feeling better today. I saw you weren't feeling so hot. Did you ever get your piece done for Brian or are you still working on that one? I, I knew that you were working on like a guitar thing for him. <laughs> exactly, exactly, Cap. She did not have a care in the world. The oxygen is helping and I'm still working on the guitar. Well, I'm glad that you have some progress in the positive direction um, in feeling better. That's always a good thing. Don't worry about the guitar. You can get to it. There's no timeline. Yeah, exact, exactly, Cap. Oh, dear God, cover their eyes. 
the innocence of the children. You redrew it so it's bigger. Oh, yes. Nice. Is it just a picture of a guitar or is it like a card or is it? I don't, I didn't really catch what the actual thing was other than I knew it was for Brian and it had a guitar on it, which was looking really good. It looks like his guitar. That's cool. No, somebody think of the children. Eh, please. The children. Yes. With his name on it. You'll love it. You, you can already, I can already see his smiling eyes. Oh, God, Cap. You're not wrong, Cap. You're not wrong. Oh, my gosh. Where is this live going? I don't know, but I kind of like it. Oh, still? When is his birthday, Serena? Oh, it's in December, so you have time. Okay. I was like, oh no, because I knew you were working on it. Oh god, Charles. You just took that to a whole nother level. Mm. Nope. Nope, that just ain't right. You did? What did it look like, Charles? You guys are so awesome thinking about other people and their birthdays. I'm lucky if I remember my own birthday. Some days. Or my children's, of course. I'll never forget my children's. birthday bab or bib we're gonna call him bib now happy birthday bib i know michelle i'm just giving you a hard time uh working on christmas cards as well that's not too far i know because you have to start sending out christmas cards like right after thanksgiving that's like when everything like ramps up crazy. First week of December is when that stuff starts going out. I used to be all cool and send out Christmas cards and be all, you know, like in the spirit of Christmas and whatnot. And then my, my, uh, the allotment of F's hit the wall. And so all of the F's that I have for the day to give go to my children. My daily F allotment goes to my children. Think of the children. Man, my brain is like all over the place on this guy. What the heck? Focus, grasshopper. Jeez. Do a lot for Christmas too, but my son has grown and yeah, exactly. Um, 
I, th I feel like the ev as the years pass, it gets a little less magical up in here. With the, the holiday business. I have one kid that's still on board with the uh, entire magic of Christmas thing. The other one's a little more woke. So it'll be an interesting Christmas this year. Uh, I never send out cards, but that would be cool to do one year. Heck yeah! And it's even cooler if you make your own. I've actually thought about doing, getting those blank, I actually have them, but like blank note cards and just drawing or painting the front side and then just drawing a little note in it and sending it out to you know a few family members it doesn't have to be a long list of people something grandma will put on her refrigerator and be like look what my granddaughter did make make grandma feel special There is still, yeah, for sure. There is still a specialness. We didn't even decorate last year. Just candles and a few twinkling lights and lots of food, booze. Heck yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, last year was not super exciting year when everybody gets stuck at home. And they're like, oh, yay, we're home for the holidays. Weren't we just home like six months? That's a new new meaning to the word, the, the term home for the holidays. You're like, dude, I don't want to be home for the anything, right? But I'm down for some food and booze, whether there's a holiday or not. Let's go. Let's go. Dude, I miss some lost TV up in here in the mornings. Ugh. Okay. Got about... 10 more minutes roughly before Joe goes live. I miss milk too. Milk I think was kind of having a a low period and so he took a break from all of his streaming shenanigans. But he still like interacted in his Discord and stuff. But he's not on doing hap stuff right now. This guy is like I have so done better. I'm seriously wondering if I'm going to be able to save him because I am like seriously destructing time. It's 10 till. Did he go live already? Did Joe go live already? Let's see. Not yet. He will soon. Squirrel. All right. Michelle's crashing. No. Come back to us, Michelle. Come back. Come back to us, Michelle. Come back. I understand. You work crazy early hours and whatnot. I totally get it. But I'm glad you stopped in to say hi. I'm just selfish and want to keep you back. Wait, what? More goat, no? You are confusing me, Charles. What are you talking about? This goat. What is this goat you speak of? I don't understand the goat reference. What does that mean? Desiree! Active sponsor number two! What is up, girl? Um, well, technically you're three. Because Sam's Sam was number one. Michelle and Des. All sponsors spoiling the heck out of me. I love you guys so much. Um, 
first week of October, it's going to be a party. Michelle, I'm going to kidnap you. And Bob is just going to have to deal with it. You have Wednesday and Friday off. What? Oh, Michelle is a firm number two. Active sponsors. What a concept. Indeed. All these awesome peeps up in here. Yeah, it's a party on it's party on Michelle's channel Friday night, right? Is that how this works? Michelle's hosting a party. That's what I heard. Are we going to have a drawing party? I have layers that I mean to introduce someday. Layers like an onion. Hmm. I fell asleep watching Tarzan on my bed and she got death grip on my hand. Love being a parent. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome, Des. Cherish that stuff. That's the good stuff you can't bottle up or keep forever, but you sure as hell can remember it. Cherish those moments for sure. Of sponsorship layer. Can't draw, but I can try to juggle sharp things. Ooh, that's scary. I don't even think I would try to do that. That sounds terrifying. This guy looks kind of creepy. He looks a little more Josh Brolin than he does Schwarzenegger. I'm really not happy with him, but we're just going to work with him. Now. I said I couldn't draw for a long time, but I can. It's the question of how good, how good you can get. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Um, the more you practice the skill, the more you improve the skill. So it just depends on how much you really want to dedicate yourself, I guess, to learning in your willingness to practice i mean but that goes with anything it's not just drawing i mean like des for example she's putting all these hours into learning guitar and dude look at how far she's come in just a couple of days it's mind-blowingly amazing girl good night all oh, stick a fork in me i am done rest well michelle we will see you soon Thanks for hanging out. I adore you, and I'm glad you stopped in. Five days total. <laughs> Fingers are not there. They'll get there. That's just going to take time and patience. You know it. That's nothing new. God, this song sounds so much like Stranger Things. It's amazing. My fingers are callousing and good and numb. Oh, yeah. Get it. Oh, Des, I was going to send you. Don't let me forget. I found this really cool episode seven of What If breakdown that covers all the Easter eggs and how they all tie together. And I thought of you and Joe when I found it. So I'm going to have to send that to you. Yeah. There's a, there's a lot to it, too, which I already knew. 
it was going to be. But it covers like all the scenes and all the different characters and where they reference back into the movies and um, the theories of what it could lead to. You do have questions. Actually, you know what? I am going to... Where's my phone? I'm going to send it right now before I forget. It was a good little watch. Let's see. Copy. Message. Paste. Go. There you go. It has been done. Loki was sexy as a nice giant. Yeah, I kind of liked that version of him. How many versions of Loki can we fall in love with? That's my real question. How many versions of Loki can we fall in love with? Because I haven't found one that I didn't like. Oh. <laughs> I will take naked Loki for 500, please, Alex. Put a bow on him. Wrap him up. I'll take him. All right, Des, you can have Loki, and I'll take Thor. It'll be an Asgardian party. All will be well. I'll take me some Chris, some some Hemi. That's right. That's right. The glorious golden locks of gods. I would have the alligator Loki as my pet. Heck yes. Heck yes. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. There are four Chris actors. Correct. And I love them all. Evans, Pratt, Hemsworth, and the fourth one is... It's very shiny and what if. It's like extra shiny. What is the fourth Chris that I can't think of right now? I know Charles is going to give it to me probably. Chris Pine. Yes. Well, he's Wonder Woman. That's that's DC. Don't be crossing the streams. Don't be crossing the streams. Which one would you kick out first? I'd kick out Chris Pine because his ass is one, dead. And two, not part of the MCU. Um, unless he played a character in the MCU and I'm not remembering. And then he can stay because his eyes are gorgeous. Um, I think Chris Pratt would have to go. He's a cutie, but I mean, he's kind of like big brother cute. He's not like, I would, I mean, I like him for his humor, but he's not like hot. Oh, you were just thinking in general? Well, we were talking MCU. We were getting down and dirty in the nerdy with the MCU. Um, but yeah, I love me some... Oh, don't get me wrong. I love me some Star-Lord. I just don't think if... <laughs> Definitely dirty. 
Is he? I didn't know that. Look at Charles is bringing us all the Hollywood beat stuff now. This is really an embarrassing Schwarzenegger, you guys. Don't tell him that I drew him like this because it's kind of bad. It's kind of bad, you guys. It's really bad. Is he live? It's 11.02. Not yet. Oh my gosh, and Brian is live. God bless. It looks good. Thanks, Chiefs. Thank you for your uh, kind lies. <laughs> no, he's, it's not horrible. It's just not in my head where I want it to be. So I'm just kind of trucking through it and making it work. Because I really do need to get onto the other days. This is one of those drawings that you don't necessarily bring up in show and tell days. When everyone's like, oh, let's see your collection. You just skip right on past this day. I have a couple of those in my other months, too. It's like, yeah, I did the whole month, but it doesn't mean you have to show off every day. <laughs> Indeed. I'll also keep, take Captain Marvel with the side of Carmel. Oh my! Brie Larson. Hello. She was awesome in that What If episode, though. I really enjoyed her in that. She was some serious, serious business. If we are crossing the streams, though, um, Mr. Amel's Green Arrow, I could watch all the seasons of that over again and would not be pained at all. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed reviewing those shows whenever they were out over on the Pop X, and I kind of made Joe cringe because I was swooning. It's like, yeah, and Stephen Amell's in it. Let's go. And he's like, oh, God. He was funny. He said he wanted the girly perspective on his shows. That's what he's going to get. He so made homemade chocolate and found cookies. Ooh! That sounds like a liquid almond joy of goodness right there. Can I please have some? I need to get me some of that. Oh, I'm aware he's Canadian. Oh, I'm fully aware of all Amel details. I know about his brother. I know about Knocking Point. I know about his wrestling. I know about his Ninja Warrior. I know about me some Stephen Amel. Mm hmm. Yes. Oh, and Garadelli chocolate? Hell yeah. Girl, you talking my language. Joe just went live. Well, boys and girls. Please unbuckle and retreat from this room and head over to Joe's because that's where I'm going. Joe is up and live and that's where we're going to head. So I will see you guys over there in just a few moments. Go to Joe's. Joseph Burke is live in the creative multiverse. We will be there shortly. See you soon.